Hey everybody, it's PC here, and welcome back to the creative side of Planet Nomads. Now, how many of you remember this guy? Yeah, I think this is, uh, I think it was the second flyer I built in season one in the desert in the creative there. Uh, I was like, I think it did it either before or after the, the X-Wing, and I didn't realize I actually had this colored too, so that's cool. But yeah, today I'm feeling a little creative. After my little video there with Creativity Happens, uh, you know, recoloring the dragons, I had a bit of an idea I wanted to do, and this is something I wanted to do in the Planet Nomads for a while now, and I figured now would be a good time to do it, and this actually looks like a good spot to do it, so let's go check her out. Uh, by the way, too, uh, in case you're wondering, this is available in the workshop. Uh, you know, everything I do, everything I built in the game is on <laughs> on the workshop, including I think every base I've ever made. But yeah, so basically, I want to build a castle. Now I've already got the dragons. I even have a trebuchet, so I've got the props. I just gotta set the scene, right? This is actually a good spot right here. So we're gonna go ahead and land, land ye old dragonfly down. I never did actually do any key bindings to this because I built this before we even had the key bindings. So let's go shut her off and continue on. So uh, yeah, as far as the time lapse went, it actually turned out pretty good last episode. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing uh, like I did last time. Uh, sadly, the only color I have for gray is this. Now let's actually try something here. Let's. I just want to see see with the colors here. Okay, so that's my uh, usual gray, and this is the other gray. That's actually beige. So we're gonna go with this color here. Oh, that's uh, that's the wrong button too. I'm creative. I don't need a tool. Haha. <laughs> just need a block. Anyway, uh, let's begin.
Okay, here I am. It's a few days later for me and just over 20,000 blocks. Uh, I did do, do, try to do as much of the time lapse as I could. Once I started getting down to like the minor details and stuff, I didn't even bother because uh, it's just so much. But there it is. I haven't really thought of a name of, of it yet. I was thinking Brand Keep or Brands Keep, you know, the little jumpy guys. I was trying to do like a little pixel art thing up there, but it didn't really work out too well. But this is it. This is incredible. I'm actually really happy how it turned out. I was trying to get some doors worked in, but uh, originally it was supposed to be a, a portacullis that I was going to be using air blades to lift up and stuff like that. But I realized with the size of the door, I didn't really have too much room, so I'd have to take out the ceiling and expand the roof and more work. So I tried setting up some doors that were using the slopes to sort of seal off each other. Uh, but then I was starting to realize that using powered hinges, I'd be able to open them or close them, but I wouldn't be able to go the other way because of I'd have to, how I have to set the key binds. I'd have to basically start rotation on them and then turn them off. So then that way, when I turn them on, they continue rotating, but then I'd have to have a way to close it, which means a high-tech door closer like a hover pad, which doesn't exist in this day and age anyways. But let's go for a tour, shall we? You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this just because it's going to be easier for people to walk in and out. And yes, you will find this in the workshop. Uh, I would be surprised if it ends up in the... Uh, the uh, most popular, I should say. Uh, as you can see, I have done a lot of decoration in here. It was actually quite a bit of a challenge trying to work with what we have, but uh, over here is the main, main dining hall. I probably could have put a few more things in here. I was trying to use uh, stack wheels as barrels, but you can only st you can't really stack them, uh, as I'll show you here. Uh, one side has the, the attachment node, the other side doesn't. So I can place it down like that. If I want to go place one other one on top, it doesn't want to actually snap to it. So that didn't want to, that didn't want to work. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Excuse me. That's what I wanted to do, get that out of my face. But anyways, so I got a nice dining room table here. I set some plants inside. I had to put a block underneath it because you can only snap to the bottom of those. Made some benches to go with it. I was messing around with the the table colors originally was going to be I think blue with a red trim but then I thought ah, let's go for an orange and a, and a yellow even though the the kingdom colors are technically red and blue but that's besides the point I uh, got some windows in I was gonna I was gonna try to get like arched windows but I was thinking about how I was gonna fill them in and I thought well I can always do black railings kind of look like iron bars for instance uh, got some hover hover jacks laying around as you know makeshift shields and whatnot. Uh, light is supposed to look like cups. Uh, I got trophies. These this is the light setup that I actually set up, uh, worked on. It. Actually a lot better than what I originally had. Originally I had them um, sort of like that coming off the posts on both sides but I was getting so much glare from the floor. So at least when you come up here you don't get any glare. You can actually see everything. So that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, spammed plants everywhere. It'd be nice to have a few more plants. Uh, brand trophy. Uh, let's actually move this. Uh, should put that a little closer to the post. Uh, needless to say, because the block count is so high, if I separate one block off the grid, like if I were to take that out and have the whole chandelier drop, it's a bit of a lag spike. But that's nothing new for me, right? But yeah, and then we got, uh, what is that, a nozzle? Only time you can really get a good look at these things. Uh, we got some more in the trophy room too. But yeah, so that is that. Uh, this is the throne. I didn't really know what to do with it. It kind of, kind of fits. It's actually functional too. We'll hop up in here, and we can go into third person. Uh, unfortunately, if third person puts you outside the castle, but there you go. Nice view of the king right here. That's what I did with the throne. I didn't. Again, I didn't know what I was gonna do originally. It was gonna be the the stand-up cockpit, which is uh, like the the console thingy, and then just basically have the character standing there. But then I thought, well, this might actually work, and it does. So that is that. Uh, you get a first per third person and you get a seat, and then we head over here, and this is sort of like the trophy area where the king has collected his prized possessions. He's got his trophies around here. Don't ask me what the generator is supposed to be. I just stuck it there as 
something just to fill in that void because I like the, using these as display cases they're not too bad display cases chests these by the way they're all supposed to be like some sort of chest or something don't know just put it there same with that and yet more trophies more of these lights and then a few other odds and ends but now we go upstairs uh, I should have put lights in, lights in here but oh well uh, each tower has six window slits so you can go in and take care of the bad guys outside if you want not that we have bad guys but you know what I mean it's all imagination right and then on this side uh, yeah actually you know what let's do this side first this side here is the king's quarters uh, I probably got to put a few more a little more decoration up in this on this side but this video is late now I want to get other stuff <laughs> done and I just want to get this finished but here's the king's quarters so I gave myself gave him a nice big king size four post bed uh, of course uh, kingdom colors red and blue I actually meant to change that over red was supposed to be on this side yeah, just take me a second to make the king's bed again you know he tosses and turns so much okay and then we go on this side I know it didn't have to be two different colors I, did. I was trying to come up with a crest idea too but uh, it's kind of hard to we seem to be missing a couple of the small blocks to really make it happen if you know what I mean and then we have we got chests uh, lights shelves a couple of shields on the wall and of course I put those in the wrong, <laughs> wrong colored spot too and I put those up after I realized I did the bed wrong too so yeah so this is the king's quarters we go over here let me put my tool away uh, that way I don't graffiti the walls uh, it's just supposed to be like a little storage area uh, what's well, gonna be a s the king's servants quarters but they're not good enough to live in the castle am I right and then we head over here we got a couple more a couple more rooms over here just kind of generic things uh, the bed idea is not my idea I will not take credit for this uh, I apologize for not remembering who this person actually was but I saw a, a screenshot in, uh, Steam, uh, in Steam a while ago where someone was making, trying to make like a modern house and they ha had the, an idea like this for a bed and did the same thing with couches and stuff like that. So it's like, it kind of works. It looks like a mattress and you got a pillow over there. I was trying to go two layers with, um, you know, like for instance, have a, a box bringing in a mattress, but then I started realizing, well, that's... That's already three feet tall. It's a little too high for a bed, so I just went with like that. Uh, this one's got a little table in here. Nothing, nothing fancy. I was trying to come up with an idea for a chair, but eh, I'm sure you know what I mean. Anyway, and then here's the other room. This one's got a, a queen size bed. It's got a shield up on the wall. A couple of chest shelves. They got their own table here, painted green. I don't know why they wanted it green, but hey, they live here, not me, right? I live over there. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, all four uh, staircases go all three floors. Go all the way up to the top. Oh, it's the block. And come up to the roof. Now, I did have some trouble with this. I don't know if you saw that I was messing around trying to get this step right. And it's because I'm going on to actual fences, not blocks. And I tried using slopes. I tried using, where is it here? Number two there. Uh, there, hang on. This one here, this is basically a block with a corner cut off of it, but for some reason the character can't walk over it, but he can walk up the the art corners. So I did that. Uh, this spot isn't that big of a problem, like so. We've got battlements going around, put some flags up on all four corners, and yeah, so that is that. Of course, uh, every tower does have access up to the top, as I will demonstrate. And it's a little bit of a tight fit getting up, but once you get up here, you can actually walk all the way around, with the exception of this part here. But that's fine because it gives you uh, full, full access. And other than that, that is pretty much it. The only thing left to do is to get creative with this. Now, fortunately, I do have some ideas and some things already built, just perfect for this project. So let me bring him in, get some light, and then we'll finish the episode. There we go. A couple of trebuchets out. 
frame rate just dropped like a rock too. I'm not surprised. I got two dragons, two trebuchets, and this structure. And there we go. This is this is what happens when you have a little bit of creativity. Because a little bit of creativity goes a very, a very long way. But anyways, I think you also hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a great build. It's something I wanted to do for a while. And honestly, it actually turned out a lot better than I had expected. And so anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.